Hi guys, welcome to another Hoi 4 video. Last time I was tired, now I'm actually sick. In today's video, we're gonna play as Denmark, and I'm gonna go for the monarchist path, which is in my opinion broken. And if it's my opinion, that means it's objective truth, so yeah, it's broken. Let's start. I'm gonna eat all of my divisions except for one in capital, let's exercise them. I'll produce guns, and I'll assign the military organization thing. Let's actually build some ships. I'm gonna go for this coastal defense ship. Let's go for raiding fleet, and let's buy some steel from, I guess, Sweden. I'll research basic machine tools, interval small airframe, as well as engineering. There's no point in researching the construction already, because look at this. Our first focus is continue the Kanzler Geder Forlich. This makes our beautiful consumer goods go down from 41 to whopping 38%. Yes, nice rework paradox. Let's now devalue the krone. This will remove the annoying weekly stability loss, which is eating it away. Next focus is industrial investments. Actually, I should have went for agricultural subsidies. This one is a little bit better. Mechanical computing. And let's hire Knut Bach, Landsbrug minister. Next focus is public works. And let's go for this first one. I wish these focuses gave you like two sieves instead of one. They will really be compared to like the Norwegian ones, which give you like three sieves in just 35 days. Let's go for engines one. And let's improve the worker conditions. Only issue with Mark is Denmark is stability. You can't really get it up, so I have to do improve worker conditions all the time. Next focus is connect the islands. Let's go for ground support specialist. Also, let's go for basic small airframe. Next focus is expand institute for theory. It's disc physic. Here's my honest take. I don't know why they name focuses like this. Just call it Institute of Theoretical Physics or something like that. I'm playing the game in English, not in Danish. Let's go for this first two and improve machine tools. League of Nations and Bark Resolution. Yes, sir. Now we're gonna go for expand or just, just kidding. I'm now gonna do the political tree. Let's reaffirm neutrality. And now I'm gonna hire army defense expert. Let's go for light machine gun. Next focus is unify the right. And now I'm supposed to hire somebody, but I want to do that. Instead, I'm going to ban communism. And let's be honest, it's cringe. I can do one of these two focuses. I'm gonna go for the one on the right because it gets me some war support. I'm also gonna hire rearmament proponent. This guy is really good. We get 10% war support, 1.5 global population, and also cheaper conscription laws. Let's get engines two, and I'm guessing construction one, like now. We kind of fixed our industry, as you can see. One thing I don't get is why do we get so many building slots? It's nice, but it's it's not really that useful. And now we can overthrow the government because we got over 40% online support. You might be wondering why the hell did I first do the industry focuses and only then the political ones. Getting the industry buffs early on is better and it really doesn't matter when you go monarchist because either way your expansion is limited by Anschluss. Only when Anschluss happens only then you can really expand. Next focus is the king assumes power. Now it's time to put some of these divisions into training. Let's put like... Uh, I guess 14 of them. Next focus is Kunig Og Featherland. Also, let's hire this guy back. He's now free, basically. Another guy that I'm gonna hire is the Finance Minister. Anyway, let's deploy these divisions and let's convert them all to this template. That's where we're gonna have as much army in field as possible. We now need the balance of power to be more to the right. So I'm gonna question our defenses, defend our chosen path. In the meantime, I'm also gonna strengthen the officer core. This will move balance of power 5% to the right. And let's also criticize our preparedness. Also, I'm a fool. Let's go for professional officer core, political loyalty, and that's it for now. Also, yeah, let's go for the branch independent spirit for more air XP. I'm also gonna research construction too. Now we got enough balance of power to the right to do the next focus, which is Scandinavian security. Let's also research trucks. We can either choose to create a faction or to have 5% stability. Yes, stability is nice, but it's not worth it. So let's create a faction instead. Why is this so good? Well, we lose the declaration of neutrality, which is annoying anyway, and we get the ability to do this focus. Form the Northern League. Research speed minus 3%, not that much of a nerf. There is support for unaligned plus 0.01, we are non-aligned. And most importantly, daily political power gain plus 0.7. This is OP. We finish this focus and I'm gonna forget about this focus tree entirely. Let's sign forwards for League it. Also, I'm gonna go for flexible organization. I'm gonna go for partial mob. Next focus is expand Werner Pleiten. This actually moves up for conscription law by one level. However, it can only move it up from disarm nation to volunteer only and from volunteer only to limited conscription. Now it will be a good time to start producing other equipment. Let's go with some artillery, like three factories, and also one factory of early trucks. Let's get support weapons. And yes, I'm aware what you can actually do is uh, 
get Finland into the faction and then get to puppet them through the offer protection focus. But Finnish puppet is not really worth it because we're not aligned, they're not gonna be integrated, we're not gonna get any of their industry. I'd rather have them court myself. Anschluss is about to happen, here we are, we got over 20% war tension, now we can expand. Let's first reclaim Norway. And I'm gonna take 10 of my divisions and I'm gonna drop the naval invasion from here into the Fjord of Oslo. Also, I'm going to remove engineers from these guys, improve the artillery, also I'm gonna give my guys a general and also a field marshal. Let's go for advanced machine tools. I'm gonna go for artillery expert, as well as army logistics expert. Our next focus is secure Swedish steel. Or maybe steel Swedish steel, get it? Steel, steel, ha ha ha. And let's attack Norway. I'm also gonna go for superior firepower real quick and also formation flying. Taking Norway shouldn't be that hard. I'm one war support short of being able to do war economy. I'm gonna put like nine of these divisions into training, that way I got just 24. Let's do a local police force and let's use cavalry for garrison. I'm short on guns, so I'm just gonna buy some. You know what I could do, let's hold a military parade. This gets me 5% war support. Now I should be able to go for war economy, however I'll have to fall back to Oslo, because Norway literally ran out of factories. 939 artillery, and let's get construction 3. Also let's create an agency real quick. Next focus is secure or eastern front. This gives us a war goal in Finland. And now I think we can go for our economy. Yeah, we can. Alright, so what we gotta do now is simply take out Norway. And that's it, Norway is gone. I'm gonna annex them and steal their navy. Next country on the list is Sweden. However, I'm first gonna deploy all of these divisions. I'm gonna send two of my infantry divisions down to Copenhagen. They're just gonna hold it. The rest of my army will just have a front line in Norway against Sweden. Let's get economy civilian upgrade. And let's improve worker conditions right away. Also, let's give all of our guys trucks. And we can finally attack Sweden. Okay, so here's the thing. I can't capitulate Sweden right away. I must get all the war goals and only then I can actually capitulate them because then war tension rises so high and everyone just gets guaranteed by the UK. Taking out Sweden isn't that hard, they don't capitulate on 44% like in my Norway video, but they're still pretty easy to take. Also let's go for the sus pills. Let's build intel network in the Soviet Union. We got a war goal in Finland, next focus is pan Scandinavianism. They call me Micro D, the way my micro is that good. That was a little bit inappropriate. I'm basically gonna take as much of the Swedish land as I can except for their capital. I'm even gonna push north. I want to put them on the brink of capitulation, basically. Time to get localized training centers. Anyway, our next focus is Dominium Maris Baltici. This gives us war goals on all the Baltic countries as well as Poland, because technically it has a part of Baltic countries inside of it. Also, I'm gonna do this decision, rally the Norwegians, this gives me some buffs. And here we are, Sweden is almost gone, they're gonna cap the moment I take Stockholm. Let's go for limited conscription in the meantime. Actually, extensive conscription right away. Let's get delay, and our focus is finished. I got all the war goals. I'm gonna take Stockholm, slow down the game, wait for the midnight, and let's now attack everyone. I'm gonna attack Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and also Poland. Now the Sweden caps, I'm gonna annex them and steal their navy, and now I can instantly restore the Kalmar Union. Next focus, reintegrate Island. I will need it to do the Nordic Unity. I'm gonna take like six of my divisions, they're gonna go up here, everyone else will go to Stockholm, and I'm gonna make some naval invasions. This will take only two weeks to prepare because I'm gonna do two divisions each. Anyway, I'm gonna start producing some support equipment, some artillery, and also some anti-air for now. I'll also get less Soviet spy, and I'm gonna go for passive defense. Let's research heavy machine guns, air superiority expert, and we're ready. Let's launch the naval invasions. I'm gonna delete these orders right away so that we don't get 20 front lines. Let's now just rush Finnish victory points. We should finish them. Ha 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 ha, very funny. I buried my son today. Also we got 69 factories. The White Death, oh no. I'm gonna hunt down the White Death. Anyway, let's now do this focus. It's gonna get us an extra operative slot. Let's improve our agency once more. We got over 50% so let's do quite into network. Jeremy wants to send me one tears. Why the hell not? Weapons 2. Rip White Death, we took him out. Anyway, I will modify a template a little bit. I need some more soft attacks, so I'm gonna go for one artillery battalion. Rip Finland. Annex and steal their navy. We can now do the second formable, which is the Nordic Unity. And now the Blitzkrieg keeps going on. Put all of these guys into one army and let's convert them to the big template. Let's put one more division into training and another 12 for the new army. And I got tons of guns now, I'm just gonna produce artillery. Let's get dive bombing and now it's time to make naval invasions with these guys. I'm gonna use these divisions with high strength and they're gonna have like five different naval invasions into Estonia. From Helsinki of course. 
By the way, in this video I'm also gonna show you how you can steal Poland from both Germany and Soviet Union. It's really funny, but it works. Anyway, I'm gonna click these decisions. Let's rally the Swedes, Finns, and Norwegians, and let's also repair the mines. We're gonna need that steel. And let's launch this naval invasion. Let's get survivability studies. I'm also gonna use some planes that I have here, although they're almost useless. All right, we landed in Tallinn. Time to send our divisions there. Anyway, it's time to repair our first collaboration government in the Soviet Union. Let's also rush improved small airframe. Next focus is align the industries to national interests. And that's it. Estonia is gone. Let's annex them. Look at this, they got 16 factories. Well, they had more, but we lost some due to building slots. But still 16 factories, that's like our starting industry. Next country is Latvia. However, I'll try not to have direct border with Poland yet. And let's deploy these 12 divisions, they're gonna be in the new army. Now it's time to draw a new naval invasion. Basically five different naval invasions, six divisions to attack Danzig, while four divisions will attack Gdynia. Remember when this state had one million people. It's actually so funny that the Latvian capital state is like the one of the least populated ones in the entire country, because it's just a city and a bunch of forests, but that's just the entire Latvia anyway. Rip Albania. We now have a border with Poland, but they gotta make sure that we don't lose this city. If we lose it, then we can't do the Baltics formable, and that's gonna weaken us, let's just say that. That's it, Latvia is gone. Let's annex them and steal their two submarines. Yeah, if you didn't know, Latvia has navy in Hoi 4. One of the weakest ones in game, though. And let's now establish Dominium Maris Baltici. I'll try taking Vilno, because it's my core, it has industry, and it's a supply hub. It's definitely worth trying to take Vilno. We instantly got an opportunity to make our very first encirclement, and it's one right here. Yeah, we did it. Now, I might have remembered that I mentioned something about stealing Poland. You'll see how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make a naval invasion into the Polish coast. Attacking here is kind of hard, and we'll need reinforcements. I'm gonna put some more divisions into training, and I'm gonna give these two also naval invasion into Danzig. I forgot to pick the next focus, let's expand Kopenhavn's Universität. I'm just gonna build mills, let's be honest. There is no point in building anything else. And let's improve our anti-air, I guess. Reinforcements have arrived, we should be able to take down SIG actually. Yeah, it does change colors, but we got shell bombardment. I'm also gonna do force attack. These guys stopped attacking, so I'm instantly gonna draw naval invasion with them as well. This way we can constantly keep on reinforcing and attacking more, until we eventually break through. I'm also gonna give my guys engineers. You're probably aware that Germany has focus Danzig or war, yeah, about that. When we take control over Danzig, which we literally just did, their focus just bypasses. It's hard to break through here if you don't do it initially, but if you manage to do it, it's gonna be useful. Another country that's out to get Poland is Soviet Union. Dealing with them is a bit different. They will justify on them, usually on the eastern states. All you have to do is to grab control over that state, for example, if they're justifying on this one, if you take this province, we're gonna have control, and then their justification cancels. So we have to justify again. Each time we can delay the war by like four months. And that way we basically save Poland from stopping to exist. Instead we make them our own puppet. Let's get mobile defense. We made a nice encirclement here, let's destroy it. All while pushing slowly in the east. As you can see, Germany just attacked Netherlands, which means they just finished their focus. I also noticed they don't get a war goal on us, they bypassed the Wesser of Bung as well. <laughs> Germany just annex Netherlands. No, allies didn't want them in. Oh my god, there's Netherlands in the Caribbean. <laughs> Am I really about to take Warsaw? No, seriously, I wanna know. Dinia is still standing firm. Echek will be proud. Let's go for economic mobilization strategy. Gonna improve that artillery some more. Okay, let's limit our exports. That way we got more resources for ourselves. Look, 69 ships. Haha. <laughs> I need some professional help. The Soviets demand Karyala. Let them come if they dare. Here's the funniest part. They're gonna get a war goal in Finland, not on us. Another paradox, W. They're doing force attacks, so I'm gonna counter it by doing last stand, I know. Did these guys just strategically redeploy into enemy territory? I think they just did. Alright, I'm going insane. And we're about to take Krakow, the most important city of Poland, which means that Poland instantly collapses without it and they capitulate, just like that. I'm gonna take this state, it's my core, and I'm gonna take Stanislavov. Why did I take it? Well, Soviet Union was justifying for this state. And now I'm gonna cancel their justification on Poland. I'm also gonna take this state because it looks aesthetically pleasing. Let's steal their navy. And let's puppet Poland everywhere. And I'm gonna steal their sieves. As well as the little bit of resources that they have. As you can see, Soviet justification is cancelled. They're now justifying for this state. Anyway, I'm gonna build some infrastructure in Poland. In places which have resources. That way I can lower their autonomy and at the same time have more resources for myself. Next focus is expand the Kunneglige. Livgarde, and the war is on horizon. Let's put our first army 
here. Second army goes right here. But that's not enough. We need like at least another two armies. Also, I'm gonna invite Danish Poland to the Northern Technological Advancements Group. First collaboration government is ready. 45%. Let's get the second one. Our third army goes like here. Fourth army goes into the Shrek land. And finally, the fifth army goes here. I'm gonna go for, I guess, disperse support. I'm also gonna go for support anti air. I'm gonna give our guys another two infantry battalions and another artillery battalion. We need some artillery and guns, so you know what? I'm actually gonna buy some. Let's get the ground support, and I'm gonna research dispersed four. Let's just pick these decisions because. They annoy me, just existing here, it annoys me, I don't know why. And we got improved airframe, which means it's time to make some planes. Let's get heavy bombs first though. Organization first, charismatic. Next focus, hair and reorganization. End of the crisis years, finally. Let's do Hjeme Vernet now. 5% defense on core territory means 5% defense basically here and all the way up here. Also let's do overwhelming firepower. Assembly line production. And the Soviets attacked. Poland, which means they attacked us. Seriously, they're force attacking all the way up here. What's the point, even if you take these provinces? Like, there's no supplies. AI is so stupid. So let's now expand our industries. Or shortages have been fixed. Now it's time to start making planes. My fighter is gonna be improved small airframe with just heavy machine guns, engine free, self sealing fuel tanks, and also armor plates. The typical plane. Cass is gonna have two heavy bomb blocks, and I guess some defense turrets. Let's begin with maybe 20 factories of each. Trade routes are kind of trash, so I'll have to buy some more. I can make it a little bit better by blocking all the seas except for this one. So the Union has already 200k casualties. I'm gonna let them keep wasting their manpower a little bit longer. Let's produce some rocket artillery. Let's draw the offensive orders for some planning bonus. I also went for dive bomber. Also I could do some of these things. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go for long range raiding. Raiding capital ships, fighter aircraft specialization, as well as armored cockpit. Literally have 30 KD right now. Let's do Alborg Portland cement plant. Let's go for electronics company. I'm gonna lose another province. No. It's time to make our first push. I'll push around Leningrad like this. I'll also push towards Psakov and Volkov like this. And we closed it. Let's now take Leningrad because that's the only port they have. However, for some reason now planes deploy for a whole month. How dare you have any fun? I wish we prepared the collaboration government before I managed to deploy these planes. All right, let's destroy this encirclement. How many divisions? 31. Let's reorient production lines. Orient them towards Hyperborea or something. Centralized fire control is here. And let's improve worker conditions again. I'll try to do some more encirclements here in the northern Shrek land. Let's get reinforced stocks. And let's go for semi-automatic rifles. Also medium machine guns production. And just like that, we made a new encirclement here. This time a little bit less epic, but still 12 divisions is pretty good. All right, it's time. Let's make a full-out assault. Focal point is basically Ukraine because it's easy to attack. It has planes. Also, we want to cut off Romania so that eventually, when Barbarossa happens, Germany can't advance. They just gave Bessarabia away. And we made kind of an encirclement right here. By the way, one funny tip. If you don't want to wait forever to deploy your planes, just duplicate your air wings. They literally deploy in just like three days, like they used to back in the day. Let's strengthen military industries. Poland helped us so much they became a puppet. Let's integrate them again. You give me human lives, I give you roads. Alright, they're integrated again. Beautiful encirclement in Transistria. Why does it feel like somebody moved Moscow somewhere? I don't know, I got this really odd feeling that somebody moved it. By the way, one thing I noticed, you can't go below 10% consumer goods anymore. It just doesn't work. So yeah, total mob is almost pointless now. Thanks Paradox for ruining my favorite economy law. Another nice encirclement here. By the way guys, look at this, we got zero manpower. Let's go for service bar requirement. Oh, this is so nice. ASMR for eyes. Nah, I'm just a psychopath. There's something to be said about the old saying, the pen is mightier than the sword. With names like these, there is no wonder Denmark fell off so hard. I still don't believe it that this frontline bug has never been fixed. Bro, just like a few pixels off, just fix it already, please. Soviet Union is not looking very good, and we're about to prepare the third collaboration government as well. Let's get advanced fire bases, combat unit destruction, and we're about to prepare the last collaboration government in the Soviet Union. That literally means when we do, they're just gonna cap. <laughs> we took enough land. Look at the stats, we got half a million casualties, they got 2.3 million. So yeah, I'm just gonna stop my troops, there is no point in pushing anymore. That's it. Collaboration governments kicked in and they're gone.
I want to award something to Poland, but now when I think of it, it's really gonna look ugly because of Stanislavov. So I'm just gonna annex whole Soviet Union. And also let's steal their navy. Next country on our list is, well, allies. They are the next. So I'll try my best. I'm gonna try landing in the northern England. Cooperation government of the Soviet Union, no. This is a death sentence because Germany is gonna get a war goal on them. I did not just waste an industrial buff on excavation. Yes, I did. Oh my god. Wait, I didn't rally these guys. Let's rally them again. Oh yeah, let's merge our navy. We have over 200 vessels. I like it how Greenland has like four focuses just dedicated to it. Let's just find UK real quick. We got claim on Shetland, so it's quick. And we're ready. Let's declare war on the UK. But in the meantime, I could make another naval invasion into like southeast. And yes, I'm literally gonna naval evade divisions one by one to save time. Time is money, especially when the USA is about to join the war. Right, we did manage to take this entire coastline. Let's get one full army here. Also, I noticed Japan actually attacks the Allies 70 days later now. No idea why, but that's good. That's really good. Let's expand this thing. I'm gonna need some planes. Let's get them here. Oh, look at this. Encirclement. Even got one of their marine divisions. Now I could restore the North Sea Empire if I haven't done this formable. There's probably a way to actually do both, I just don't know of it yet. There has to be a way, let's be honest. I think UK is gonna die now. Yep, here we are. How much war participation? Close to none. Ain't that amazing. I'll just try to puppet the UK itself. Maybe take Ceylon and Sumatra in process for some rubber. I could also do the funny thing in Canada and maybe take the Guayanas for some aluminum. I don't have enough score to take Tahiti, damn. I guess Free France is gonna exist. So I got myself the British puppet. Let's now lower their autonomy. And now let's move on to taking out the USA. Yes, I can try taking out Germany right away. I'd rather do the USA because they're still kinda weak. I just finished my land doctrine. Also, since I'll be taking them out, I'm gonna build some intel network there. Japan just attacked Philippines. Please don't get a war goal on me. Okay, they're getting a war goal on me. Seriously, come on. Let's expand this thing. Oh my god, 561 factories. That's a lot of industry. Let's make our guys even more chunky. I'm gonna give them one rocket artillery instead of infantry. And let's also go for support rocket artillery. It will declare war on Saudi Arabia. Why didn't they fix this? Why did they get a random claim here instead of here? No, here. Alright Japan, do you have a war goal on me? You don't. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you very much game. Let's justify on Mexico now. Who's justifying on me now? No, Germany, why? Oh, you know what, I'm going to annex Poland. Literally the why I just justified on Britain. It's the Shetlands, I forgot to take them. I guess that's useful now, I can quickly justify on the Germany. I can tell this guy doesn't even have a portrait. And these two women look the same. I'm about to annex Poland, so I'm gonna steal their manpower through the million years old exploit. Alright, that's good enough. Let's annex them. Let's see if this Germany is gonna justify me. I should have went for an aggression pact, actually. Here's the war on USA. Let's attack Mexico. 6,000 planes is going to completely destroy the Americans. Rip Thorvald Stowning. They should make some achievement like conquer, I don't know, Soviet Union before he dies. Yeah, this this template literally just chews the USA alive. Did I really just discover a cheese on basically on assigning your operative so he doesn't get captured in operation? Yeah, USA is gonna cap before I even do the collaboration government. I'm getting all these upgrades, I don't even know what I'm getting anymore. Yeah, this does seem OP, but I'm wondering how does this work for countries like Bhutan? Do they even have this? Alright, USA is soon gonna die. So let's start preparing for war against Germany. In other words, I just need to build airports everywhere. Japan declared war on Germany. What? Oh yeah, because Southeast Asia. USA is almost gone, but I'm gonna let my operatives do the cooperation government so I get some collab and some compliance. Three, two, one, and USA is gone. Yeah, they can have the Philippines, so I don't really care. I want the American Navy though. <laughs> Mexico is all the way up here, nice. And we also took out Mexico. Let's build some more airports here. Let's also build some more supply hubs as well. Yeah, I'm building supply hubs in Europe, I know. Okay, next country we're taking out is Germany, or well, the entirety of Axis. I think the seven armies is gonna be just enough. Let's not forget to garrison our ports. And we also got all of the air doctrines. We now got the advanced planes. Let's just found Germany. I got a core in Memel and also claim and let's declare war on Germany. I'll push into East Prussia, but I'm not gonna push anywhere else. 
bunch of divisions destroyed here and look at this germany has already half a million casualties but to be honest we got 26k as well they're breaking through a little bit but yeah they get to way many casualties than territory look at this ace pilot promoted literally every single day <laughs> and here we are they got 2 million casualties we got 100k over 3 million now wait it's even more yeah when you count in the miners 5 million casualties i could actually attack now never mind let's let's wait a little bit more oh my god our army is just so strong 54 divisions and we just reached berlin bro they literally have over 10 million casualties and we kept romania this is beautiful. I guess Schleswig is now mine. Wait a minute. Japan never stole into China. That's weird. It's 1944. What the hell? That's it. Oh my god. Finally. We make it out of Bratislava with this banger. Fun fact. I'm still nowhere near finishing my focus tree. Yay. Italian Civil War. Only thing you're getting is annexed. Bulgaria is gone and the other remaining major is now Italy. You're ripping of those I already annexed them. <laughs> Wait, these guys kept as well. Seriously, Venezuela is now a major. Let's make a naval invasion from Jamaica into Venezuela. Every single run, I always forget to restart something crucial. This time it was landing craft. This guy's middle name means something funny in our language. Macedonia is the graveyard here. 20 million people died in this war, just in combat. Let's make this naval invasion. That was way easier than I thought it's gonna be. And now my game's gonna crash. Oh my god, 278 states. Well, I wanted to actually take out Japan as well, but now when I think of it, it's a little bit too late, both in real life and in game. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Consider joining my Discord server if you want to lose like part of your brain. And yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.